What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your thrill, of course, this character. And today we're going up against Cleo94, our own as Uni at, at the in-game name. And basically, Cleo is a bit of a running gag on my channel because nobody knows the sex of this person, but she or he has been around on my channel for so long. Like she is one of those people that have been from the beginning and. Um, whether or not she's a male or female doesn't really bother me. Uh, this person has been a supportive person and I'm very glad to have he, she around. Um, so um, if you see he, she on the stream then you know you know the issue. Like People are wondering and like I said I, I don't really mind it. Hell, I'll even go so far to say uh, the person Cleo is well one of the better persons I have around and like I said super supportive and bring a lot of fun battles. Look through the team we've got Sviper uh, we got Mawal, Flareon, Sudwuru, Wigglesuff, and Maractus. I myself using Simonsir, Gramble, Meowstic, Emolga, Caracosta, and Buffalant. So my team is definitely very very heavy invested in physical presence and I'm gonna use to the best of my abilities. Her biggest threat uh, on her team is definitely the Mawal and Flareon. If it is the fl Flashfire set, it can be extremely dangerous. And Sviper, you know, I rarely go against that, so we're definitely looking forward to see this set. And uh, basically, I'm gonna start real aggressive with my Simise, and she is actually gonna start off with the Maractus, and we'll just see how this one works. So, with all this in mind, let's go. So, yeah, from the get go, she's gonna start with the Maractus, like I said there. I felt that if her set of Flareon is the Flashfire set, then it doesn't really threaten my Simis here, so I just went for Fire Punch anyway. She is gonna switch out, but she switched out to the Swiper, and um, yeah. Like I said, not gone against too many of these before, and my Fire Punch does a fair amount of damage, bring it down to 50% and burn it. But she has the Citrus Berry and will recover fairly here, and uh, basically, I was thinking here that it might. I might not be able to kill it and she could go for an EQ and that will definitely hurt. So I'm gonna switch out to my Honeydew, which is uh, a special set in Molga, and she has Belch. Yeah, that just happened. That completely destroys my Molga. And basically, I was really, really thinking about like what 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 am I supposed to do here? And for some reason, you know, I got really stressed here, so I went for a knockoff instead of finishing off with a fire punch. Of course, the knockoff doesn't do anything because of the, well, because of the item is already consumed. I do survive the belch, which is really nice. But at the same time, uh, I know that of course she has the Pokemon that is uh, Flareon, and um, there is no way if uh, the only if the Flareon is a special set, then you know it obviously is unpacking the quick attack, which is going to bring to Mrs. Marcedo and. Uh, Yes, this is a physical gut set with Toxic Orb, and there's a quick attack, and the Zimster is gonna go down, and basically, I, I'm i cornered. I'm really cornered. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Chief, which is a variant of the uh, Desel Troia set, the Rhyperior, which is uh, with a choice band and fully physically offensive, and I'll say it worked quite nicely. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge, do land it here. It is not enough to kill, but man, it did a good chunk of damage. And of course, Giga Rain seems really obvious, and my Buffalant has Sap Zipper or Beef Way. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna send that in. I felt that that was my definitely my safest bet, and obviously it were. And um, she's gonna go for Spiky Shield just to so or find out which kind of move I'm gonna go for. I went for an EQ because it does cover a lot, and there is no way that this Maractus is gonna actually find a way to deal with that properly but she shows off the life orb sucker punch which is you know that's kinda nice it really is and like I said um, EQ seems to be like the coverage was really well there it really works a lot of her Pokemon so that was a good move to actually lock myself into she's gonna bring I'm a cactus and she's gonna go for self rocks here I'm just gonna bring some damage to it just basically bring it down to sturdy if that even is possible and uh, knowing Cleo, I know that she packs the berry that gives priority, that sh something with C, Shukata there, berry and all stuff like that. So I was really thinking about that Costa berry, right? So I went to my Gramble with Intimidate just to soak that out. And I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm a smart guy here, I can definitely do this. Because obviously I don't have any ghost type on my, well, on my side, sadly. 
and here's the explosions. I was like, yep, totally saw it one coming. Totally saw that one coming. And it actually does a good chunk anyway. And the worst part is, there is not many things that Grable can do. And uh, she's gonna bring the Li Shi, which is the Kakri here, or the Mawal. And it is a special set. Yeah! It just used Flash <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. So I'm gonna bring Beefway here, and obviously I'm gonna do that because I I might not be able to outspeed, but I have Earthquake, and that is gonna work really well. And look at this! It is a crit there, and just it destroys my Buffalo. <laughs> it just does so much damage. It's sick. It is so sick. This thing, Manuel, is just wow! What a damage! So anyway, Mrs. Marcel is gonna be here. Actually, goes for the saw. The quick attack would be just fine too. But yeah, I had no reason to save this thing, honestly. And I'm just gonna bring the Chush back in the game and. Uh, since our two Pokemon can't really deal with the Earthquake, I'm actually going to decide to uh, lock myself into that. And... Uh, the Flareon will go for Dig. That is awesome. That is really bad. That is really bad. And the world, the world would just shatter in place. And there is no way for this poor Flareon to survive this. So the Flareon is gonna go down. And that is awesome. That is... Uh, that it wasn't even a prediction. Of course, Dig is a superior move or superpower, and I was so into superpower like that was the obvious move. But no, I actually went for that. And she's gonna go for Thunderbolt here, and I survived that because of the Solid Rock in a retaliation with an earthquake, which is sadly not enough. And I was really feeling that. All right, Chief, you did your job. I I'm not gonna sack you. I'm just gonna bring Esper here and uh, finish it off with the Psy Shock. So I'm gonna take this Thunderbolt, and I do take it really well, it's nothing to worry about. And Retaliation is real, and the Psyshock will finish off this game. So Cleo, GG, there was definitely like, while you know a lot of my Pokemon didn't go down, it still was a very interesting game because a lot of things were happening. It was so tough for me to actually come around, and uh, the Chief made it good here, but that, that mobile set is awesome, that was so fun, that was the reason alone I had to upload it. So GG Cleo, GG. So yeah, I really hope of course you guys enjoy this battle, and if you did just that, make sure to leave your stat a like. And besides that, you know, I'll do hope, I, I will actually be streaming on Friday, um, I really have to reach out on that. Uh, still waiting for my 215 battle, uh, if I don't pull up against the Hayden, you know, then I'll I'll figure something out. It's, it's only a number after all, but I really hope we can pull something up here, and besides that, Wow, really spread through this. Um, I must say, Cleo is one of those p people that really brings unique sets. She definitely, you know, corner me a lot, and I say because of that, it makes for interesting battles. Because I do struggle a lot, even though I am not supposed to. She just gets me. Um, so anyway, people, thank you for watching as always. Make sure to, just, like I said, leave a like if you're new to the channel. Don't just subscribe. And remember, the sky's limit, right? Mm! Very good, guys. Take care. Bye.